The world is changed. I feel it in the water. I feel it in the earth. I smell it in the air. Much that once was is lost. For none now live who remember it. began with the forging of the great rings. Three were given to the elves, immortal, wisest and fairest of all beings. Seven to the dwarf lords, great miners and craftsmen of the mountain halls. And nine, nine rings were gifted to the race of men who above all else desire power. For within these rings was bound the strength and will to govern each race. But they were all of them deceived. For another ring was made. In the land of Mordor, in the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord Sauron forged in secret a master ring to control all others. And into this ring he poured his cruelty, his malice, and his will to dominate all life. One ring to rule them all. One by one, the free lands of Middle-earth fell to the power of the ring. But there were some who resisted. A last alliance of men and elves marched against the armies of Mordor, and on the slopes of Mount Doom, they fought for the freedom of Middle-earth.
was in this moment, when all hope had faded, that Isildur, son of the king, took up his father's sword. Sauron, the enemy of the free peoples of Middle-earth, was defeated. The ring passed to Isildur, who had this one chance to destroy evil forever. But the hearts of men are easily corrupted. Destroy it! No. I am Isildur's heir, not Isildur himself. My fate is my own. To Helm's Deep! Rigo, go! All Isengard is empty. It is an army bred for one purpose, to destroy the world of men. The Dark Lord draws near.
sanctuary of Rivendell, the smallest of us showed the greatest courage. I will take it! And a fellowship was forged. I will take the ring to Mordor. You have my bow. And my axe. Into this ring, he poured his cruelty, his malice, and his will to dominate all life. One ring to rule them all. 
what we've done is a culmination of a huge amount of work involving thousands of people. The title of the two towers refers to the Tower of Orthanc, which is where Saruman, Christopher Lee's character, is based, and the Tower of Baradur in Mordor, the home of Sauron. Film two, like uh, every film in this uh, trilogy, is a challenge. <laughs> and uh, will remain so until we deliver it. It's a great movie. It's going to be bigger than film one. I think definitely that there is such care that went into making these movies. And to be able to transfer that information to the team that's building the games is great. Because I know they're putting in an equal amount of care and effort into bringing a really rich game to the public. Tolkien describes Edoras very vividly in the books as being a city of wooden buildings on a hill in front of a range of snowy mountains. When we were originally doing our location scouting, I said, look, we've got to find somewhere in New Zealand, there's got to be a hill like this that's in front of the mountains. So they went helicoptering all around the country and they came back with a photograph of the absolute perfect hill. It was about 60 or 70 miles away from the nearest town. It was in the middle of the South Island. It was very remote. We spent about seven or eight months actually constructing these huge buildings. The end result was that in the movie we have an Edoras which is, which is thoroughly believable. I was able to go there and just shoot as if it was an existing location. One of the exciting things about the EA games and what I've been seeing in the models as they've been built is a great replication of our sets and our characters to the point where EA worked out a deal with our actors so that they would come in and record their own dialogue. The actors were quite excited about it. The battle for Helm's Deep is over. The battle for Middle-earth is about to begin. We built a miniature of Helm's Deep, but what was interesting was that it wasn't just a model, it was a huge miniature. It was a quarter scale, but it was in itself about 30 or 40 feet wide. And it was so big that we could just photograph it with our cameras and it wouldn't look like a miniature, it just looked totally believable. What makes a great movie is really a great script and, and a great cast. I imagine when you're doing a game, it's many of the same challenges. You've got to attract the right talent to the game. You've got to get a story that will attract an audience and then become excited by that story and compelled by that story to actually see it come to life. There is nothing we can do for Frodo. The quest will claim his life. Rohan is weak and ready to fall. And so he will strike hard and fast at the world of men. War. The story will precious and we want it. to lead them over Karadras. And if that fails, where then will you go? To Moria. This land has changed. We shall wait here until the path beyond appears safe. We have had no word from Moria in many years. There are orcs, many of them. Let's <laughs> go. 
persuade! <laughs> Could pass through the mines of Moria. My cousin Balin will give us a royal welcome. Watch out!
This is the Dawn of Durin, Lord of Moria. Speak, friend, and enter. Melon. We now have but one choice. We must face the long dark of Moria. It was here that we would find far more than the tomb of Bali, Lord of Moria. We have barred the gates, drums, and the deep. We cannot get out. They are coming. Yourself. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 